Hello beautiful people, welcome to Mom Kiss TV. So today is our first day of Vlogtober. I'm so excited for Vlogtober. I've been kind of nervous about it, but I'm excited at the same time, if you feel me. So first of all, for those of you that are new here, my name is Morgan and we are about to get into some Vlogtober fall teams, okay? So we have a lot planned for this month. We are moving, we have work, family coming into town. Obviously the holidays, we're getting into our fall baking and all that stuff. Typically around this time, I'm like working and I never really get all the way balls deep into the festivities. But this year I can get into it, okay? So today is September 28th. We are about to clean the house and get ready. My boyfriend's brother is coming into town for either a week or two. I'm not 100% sure on that. But on today's agenda, we are going to clean the house, make sure it's like company ready. I don't know if I'm the only one that like freaks out when company's coming over and you feel like you have to get the whole house snatched. Like it's just, it's like, oh, I don't want them to come and see nothing crazy. I don't want the floors to be dirty. I just want everything nice and clean for them. So we are gonna straighten the house up. And then we also are gonna go shopping. We need to do pretty much a good grocery shopping haul because we don't really have much meat in the freezer. We're running out of fruits and vegetables. We're running out of drinks. We have food in the pantry, but not our everyday common things. And then also with company coming over, I like to have like the drinks they like, the snacks they like, and kind of cater to them and make sure they have what they typically eat outside of here. Cause I know not everyone eats how me and my boyfriend eat. So that's on the agenda for today is to get the house clean, get it ready. Um, I need to check the mail. And like I said, we're gonna run to one, maybe two, most likely two different grocery stores. I usually get the meats and stuff at, a, at one place and then the fruits and vegetables at another. We also have to empty out the work truck and go to one of the job sites that we did last week and get some of our materials and check the status of that to see when we're gonna schedule the day two for it. So yeah, nothing too crazy today. That's one thing about Vlogtober is your girl is truly a homebody. So a lot of these vlogs will be super relaxing, super chill at the house. But I'm also challenging myself to get out the house and maybe try like a pumpkin patch or, you know, if I am at home, try some new recipes and kind of get into like just the season, right? One of my favorite things I like to rewatch during this time is Pretty Little Liars. So I know everyone's on Gilmore Girls and I may tap into that, but my shit is Pretty Little Liars, okay? So we're gonna get into that as well. But I'm super excited for this Vlogtober. Make sure you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to go ahead and clarify as far as the giveaway rules and how you enter and things of that nature. The giveaway is open from October 1st to Halloween, okay? So each Vlogtober video that I post, no matter what the video is, every video I post in the month of October is a chance for you to enter and win the either first, second, or third prize for the 50K giveaway. So what I did was I combined 50K with Vlogtober and we're just gonna make that one giveaway. I did something similar to this last year. Um, I did it at 20K, but yeah, we're gonna do it for 50K. So like I said, like this video, for example, all you have to comment is pound 50K giveaway with a pink heart and that's an entry. You can enter as many times as you would like. If you comment something sweet or just whatever you're commenting, just add pound 50k giveaway with a pink heart at the end of your comment that will be entered as an entry. There will be first place, second place, and a third place winner. First place will get a all pink, like either hot pink or baby pink, I haven't decided, a kitchen set. Second place will get two fully customized wigs along with like the package, everything you need to install the wig. And then third place will get a self-care package put together by me. I'm gonna go shopping and put together a really cute package. It's gonna have quite a bit of stuff in there. So yeah, it's first, second, and third place. But like I said, it's all month long. You can enter as many times as you'd like. So yeah, good luck to everyone. Let's get it, let's get it. I started to do a juicer, but I was like, not everyone's into that. And me and my mom kind of came up with this like system for the giveaway to be more versatile for everyone. Everyone cooks, most people would love a wig and everyone does self care. So not everyone's into the whole juicing thing. I love juicing, I'm a juicing fanatic, but not everyone is and that's okay. So this one's gonna be more catered towards everyone. Anyways, but yeah, the Vlogtober, any vlog you see posted this entire month, you can comment 50K giveaway as many times as you like. The winner will be announced November 1st on my YouTube community tab. If someone comments or texts you or emails you or any of that and says you're the winner, they're lying. 
please do not fall for the scams the winner will be announced on my youtube community tab so make sure your notification bell is on make sure you're checking in daily make sure you're entering all that make sure you guys are putting yourself in the position to win okay so that is it for the giveaway i'm so excited for that if you guys did not see the flyer here it is make sure you check the community tab for updates with with the giveaway as well but anyway let's get to today
Okay, let me show y'all what all we got in here. We got berries, some peppers, some egg whites, some sour cream, eggs, um, creamer. This is leftover chilies, chicken and pasta noodles. Um, we got some heavy whipping cream for pasta. B-Ray, shout out to you. We got you some Dr. Pepper. We got cranberry, orange juice, beet and carrot and apple juice back there. And then these are just like the sparkling waters. And then we got a few different kinds of cheeses. Dairy, Parmesan. I mean, non dairy, Parmesan. Some to shred because we're constantly buying shredded cheese. And I know for a fact it's better if you do it yourself. So we're going to try it out. There's some turkey bacon, some Canadian bacon under here. Cotija cheese for bowls and tacos and stuff. And then we also got some green beans, some spinach, some celery, some carrots for our roast, some Brussels sprouts. Oh, I can barely close this one. And then we got some white peaches, grapes. These are little cracker, cream cheese cracker things. This is mainly for him. Um, they're okay, but I like the peanut butter ones better. And then we also got some kiwi. Um, over here, we got some sriracha mayo, biscuits, and then the big sriracha because we've been out for like two months and it was stressing my baby out. So I had to get us uh, the big bottle in case we run out. Now, as far as the pantry, this was pretty much already stocked. So the only thing we grabbed was this thing of goldfish and that apple pie coffee. I'm gonna try that. Baked apple pie coffee. It just looked like it's gonna smell good. Um, these are the beans that we made the chili out of, the pinto beans. But yeah, this was pretty much already stocked, honestly. We got this popcorn last night for movie night. And then over here, we got all kinds of stuff over here. There's catfish nuggets. There's mahi, however you say that. There's steak. There's brats. There's chicken thighs, chicken wings, french fries, tenders, potato. I mean, <laughs> curly fries, tenders, and french fries. And then we got some steak and some riblets. Um, this was already in here. And we also got some ground beef. Hot pocket and sausage. That was already in there. We didn't get that today. <laughs> but now we are about to, I know this is a little twisted and looking crazy a little bit, but now we are about to go check out this customer's um, progress on his concrete because we went and poured, dug the hole and poured concrete a few days ago, like Wednesday morning, Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's been raining out here, so we haven't been able to actually put the basketball goal up on the concrete. So we're gonna go take a look at his concrete and also grab our tools because we had to leave some stuff on the job site to hurry up and rush to Kentucky on our second job that day. It was a long story, but we were crunched for time. So we just had to leave some of the shit there and tell him we'll be back. But we're gonna go put our eyes on the concrete and also get our shit off his property and see like, can we do it on Tuesday or basically like has the rain slowed up the progress of the concrete drying or can we go ahead and proceed with putting the goal up? So we're not putting the goal up today, but we are gonna go check on it and see the progress of it drying to see when we can do it. <laughs> 